Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing K-1 fiancé visas. And a question that often comes up, I hear people ask me, how long do K-1 visa interviews last? Well, the short answer to that is, it always depends. And I'm going to quote an article here uh, that I found rather interesting recently, but understand, every case is different. And just because things work a certain way 80% of the time, that 20% can be radically different. You know, frankly, 80% of the cases that I deal with, that folks contact us and retain us to deal with, you know, they do move in something of a predictable manner. There's another 20%, and some of them are, we can kind of label as non-routine from the outset, and others of them, they look just like any other case on the intake, and it's just something happens in the middle of the process. You know, or for instance, it gets to interview, and you just get an officer who wants to get more in depth, or, or you may have an issue where they view that maybe the fraud prevention unit needs to be sort of called in for their two cents on the issue, and then you're dealing with a fraud prevention unit interview or something akin to a so-called Stokes interview at, at the interview phase. Now, again, oftentimes cases move in a pretty predictable manner, but not always. And I, I sometimes tell clients, you know, it's not for the 80% that folks are generally contacting an immigration attorney to process a visa case through. It's for the off chance that they end up in the 20% and they need somebody who's dealt with those things that, that they, they generally are looking for somebody to assist. Uh, a recent article from Foreign Policy, we'll go ahead and put this up on screen, that's Foreign Policy Magazine, foreignpolicy.com, article is titled, The State Department's Visa Issuing Authority is in Crisis. And I thought this was a pretty good, uh, it was a tiny little excerpt from a, from a large article Quoting directly, it's a rush system. A standard visa interview, maybe five minutes or less, conducted through bulletproof glass, often in a language other than English. Yeah, I, I mean, that's not entirely incorrect. That can be how things go, uh, but it might not be. And especially in a K-1 context, you know, there's elements of wanting to ensure that there's a genuine relationship. So issues like language, fluency, can be an issue. It, it may not, it depends on circumstances, but Thai may not be the operative language people are using when discussing things in a K-1 visa interview. Long story short, again, there are routine cases and there are non-routine cases. And generally speaking, in you know, it, it's not readily apparent at the outset of one of these cases that it's going to be, it's going to just sail through or it's going to have problems. Sometimes an otherwise in my opinion, perfectly processable, in my opinion, routine case can end up, you know, having all kinds of issues, including an interview.